Well, good morning. Probably wondering to yourself, what the heck am I looking at? Got chainsaws, arrows, looks like they're about ready to get made. <laughs> baby treats for the grandbaby. Life of a bachelor grandfather, I tell you. So, here's the thing. If you remember a couple of videos ago, I said that the only bow that I can't get to hit where I look is that tiger cat. And it made me very sad because it's the prettiest bow that I own. And I'd come to the conclusion that I was never going to be able to get it to shoot right for me. I don't know why. It always shot a good six inches to the left, even at 15, 20 yards. And... I got tired. It's no fun to shoot a bow that you have to shoot, hold way off to the left to hit where you want to hit. So I decided I was going to sell it. And last night, a gentleman, I was going to sell it on Craigslist. And last night, a gentleman got a hold of me and said, hey, he's going to buy it. He's going to buy it for more money than what I bought it for. Of course, he didn't know that. But I said, okay, set up a time to meet him today. But it was just eating at me. It was eating and eating and eating at me. It was driving me nuts. I've never met a bull that I didn't like to shoot. And this was the first one. And it literally was driving me bonkers. And then it happened. Last night at about 10.30, 11 o'clock at night as I was sitting here pondering about getting rid of this bowl it dawned on me you know you've surmised that you didn't think that it was shooting right for you because it's not quite cut to center all my other bowls are cut past center now I am not the smartest guy in the world, so I'm not really sure how the whole archer's paradox and everything works. I just had like an epiphany last night that what if all of the arrows that I use for all of my other bowls, even though this is 45 pounds, just like all my other bowls, but maybe they're just too stiff and that arrow is not able to wrap around the riser. And coincidentally enough, I had a pack of 600 three rivers uh traditional only arrows sitting there that i've had for over a year and a half maybe even two years that i never made up because i never used such light arrows or such light spined arrows and i thought you know what let's just let's just shoot a bear shaft out of it of the 600s and see what happens and I'll be damned if I didn't hit right where I was looking and that was at 10 yards back up to 15 bare shaft hit right where I was looking back up to 20 bare shaft hit right where I was looking I backed up to 30 with the bare shaft and not quite right where I was looking I hit about five inches to the right and not to the left but I mean it was amazing so I made up one arrow last night and then I actually uh, emailed the guy that I was supposed to sell the boat to and said that it, um, the deal had fallen through and I decided I wasn't gonna sell which is kind of crappy for him so I made up one batch or one arrow and I'm gonna make up the rest today so let's see if it's still let's hope that I wasn't dreaming all this but let's see how she does Look at that. High. These arrows are light. <laughs> so they're going to hit higher. But look at that. It was right in line with what I was aiming at. Let's try that again. This is only 10 yards. I will back up. I'm only going to take a few shots. I literally just woke up. I'm sorry if I sound congested. But yesterday I was cutting trees out at the farm. Uh, where I hunt that had fallen across the path for the landowner because he had called and said that they had fallen across the path And 
and um, that was a little bit to the left, but that was me. And I have allergies, and boy, you'll, I mean, I, I took video of it. You'll see that video once I get it all fixed up. So these arrows just fly great out of this. I've never shot such light arrows. I had these laying around because I thought my daughter was going to take up the recurve bows, and I had a 30-pound uh, black hunter that I was going to give to her, and she just never never decided to uh, pick it up. So here we go, 15 yards. Look at that, right in there. When I was shooting with the other one, I mean, yeah, it's high. So I get it, I'm shooting high. That's, that's gonna take me a while to get used to. But when I was shooting with the other arrows, I wouldn't even be able to hit the raccoon unless I was holding right at about here. Here, I was, well, holding right about here and I hit up there. Now, mind you, this is the first, these are the first shots that I've taken with a feathered arrow out of this bow. And I've only taken a few shots with the 600 spines. So it's going to take me a while to get used to it. So any bad shooting right now is not the bow or the arrow, it's me. And that's why it was driving me so crazy. You know, they always say that bad shooting is never the bull's fault. It's always the archer's fault. And I just, for the life of me, could not figure out how to make this bow shoot the way I wanted it to shoot. And then right before I sold it, then I got the idea, well, maybe I need to go down in spine length. I mean, that arrow flies like a dream. <clears throat> I just have to hold so much lower. Try 20 again and then maybe we'll try 30. We'll see. It's early, I'm still very tired. But I'm happy because it looks like now I'm not going to have to sell this bow. Look at that. Right in there, man. I'm telling you. <coughs> I might try one at 30, but if I miss the target completely, it's not the bow's fault this time. It's my fault just because... Like I said, I just woke up. I mean, look at that. That's just two inches high. Left and right was very good, though. If anything, that was a little, just maybe a quarter of an inch to the right of where I wanted. And I'll take that over being six, seven inches to the left constantly, you know? You know what I mean? <clears throat> Yeah, this is going to be the last shot. And the only problem with this is now these arrows are very, very light. Um, it's a 45 pound bow. At my draw length, it's probably only about 43 pounds. And I weighed these arrows, and they're only a little over 402 grains. So it's quite a bit lighter than any other arrows, but I mean, they fly great. So let's see here, let's see. I'll try the turkey down there. Look at that, high, but left and right was perfect. <laughs> and that arrow just looked like a laser flying through the air. Amazing. So I have saved my Tiger cat, I'm happy. Look at that, left and right was perfect on that. 
I mean, perfect. I was aiming for here. I hit up here. That's about, so I hit about five inches high. Left and right was perfect. Oh, you guys just don't understand how happy this makes me because I thought for sure I was going to have to get rid of that bow. Um, I actually had a deal set up. I was, I'll tell you right now, I bought that bow for $160 uh, after shipping. This was off of eBay. After shipping, it was $190. And last night, I had a guy that wanted to buy it for $250. So I could have made some money on it, but I'd rather have the bow. And it's shooting great. And who knows, maybe I'll even hunt with this bow. I'm going to shoot it for a while now and uh, see if I can dial in the, the yardage and not shoot high all the time, but love the bow. All right, guys, sorry, this has turned out to be a lot more rambling of the Rambler, but uh, I see it's over 11 minutes. I thought it was only gonna be like an eight minute, but oh well, thanks guys, and I'll catch you on the next one. And there is a very long, boring video of me cutting trees, which is mainly for my son to see so you guys feel free to just skip that one when that one comes out i'm still editing that one all right talk to y'all later bye